Well, so far I've gotten a lot of um, straw men as far as arguments are concerned, which is par for the course with me because just about every time I come up with something controversial, I just get straw men arguments. And I haven't found anyone that has any weight uh, when it comes to, to, to this subject. Um, I've heard it said that James was only preaching to the Jews of the remnant, so he wasn't preaching to the, to the Gentile believers, and he was preaching to these certain Jews. But that doesn't account for the Pharisaical nature of legalism when Paul says that, um, that the Jews and the Gentiles both come to Christ the same way, not by the law. And it doesn't, it, 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 it glosses over the fact that Peter was rebuked by Paul because he was, he was afraid of men from James. Maybe the same men from James, the Pharisees who believed in Acts chapter 15 verse 5, that you must be circum circumcised and follow the law of Moses to be saved. Especially when James preaches that very message, when he says, if you really keep the royal law found in Scripture, and he's not talking about the royal law of Jesus. He's talking about the, uh, the law, the whole nature of the book. See, what it does is it tries to say, well, you can't mishmash them together. The problem is, is that that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to reconcile a book that doesn't fit. You're trying to fit a square, a square peg in a round hole by saying, well, it wasn't addressed to the, to the Gentiles. But, Paul, but Paul's whole argument was that the Gentiles and the Jews are the same. And that they're the same legalism that James preaches, preaches is against um, is against the, the Jews that are um, preaching legalism. So it's not the same for these Jews as it is for everybody else. It's just that the Jews don't want to get rid of Moses. They they're not embracing the Messiah the right way. In name, they're calling themselves Christians. But in actions, they're under, still under Moses. And this is what the whole book of Hebrews was. See, when you, when you try to bastardize and cut it all up and say that it's not there, and that there wasn't an argument, then you basically negate the whole idea you, uh, of all the books that, 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 that Paul and, and the book of Hebrews that was to the Jews who were, who were unbelievers that, were, that, that wanted, wanted to go back to Moses. It's just like trying to say, I don't want to see it. And that's the other thing I see. I, I, seen, uh, I don't have any answers for your argument, Mitch, but I can't go there. I have to remain like this because I can't. It's like, la, 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 la. It, it's almost like you don't, and I understand it. I do, but it's a very fearful. But I'd rather face something, the truth is something, than, than, than just remain with my head in the sand. I mean... If there is a real answer here, and then there's the other thing that says that, well, you know, this was talking about everything happened, we were talking about preterism, where, where everything happened and, and, and the whole world um, basically was judged at the, at the fall of the temple. Jesus did prophesy the fall of the temple, but he did not say that that would be the end and that would be judgment. Uh, he did that on the Mount of Olives. And basically, uh, what Paul was saying was that there's going to be a door for the Gentiles. The gospel is going to be preached into the whole world. And you see, before the end comes, and this was in Peter. He said, he said I'm not willing that any, um, any be uh, lost, but all of God's children that are going to come in by the end of the age um, come in before the door is closed. So to, to take the preterist point of view, would be uh, would would then negate the whole idea for the gospel being preached throughout the nations in order for the gentiles to come in it basically it basically comes in conflict with paul when he says that the door to the gentiles will be open for a time and then the remnant will come back in in, in chapter 11 so that doesn't make any sense what does make sense is that the jews rejected messiah by going back to the legalism of the law and paul and and, and the door was shut for any way to be able to sacrifice at the temple, at the at when the when the when the temple fell and the, and when and when Jerusalem fell, the Jews all of a sudden had no other way but Christ. But they kept on trying to go back to the temple anyway. This is what they're doing even today. It makes perfect sense. The new way to come, the old way was closed. The new way is through Christ, and this is basically what was said in in, in Zechariah 12:10. 
It says, and then they will look upon me whom they pierced, and they will mourn for him like a firstborn son. See, the, the Jews are not looking at Messiah, but there will come a remnant before the end of the age where the Jews are going to come in, and then the end is going to come. Anyway, take care. God bless.